Good morning, guys. Hi. It's been a while since I've vlogged. Um, a few days. I think last time I vlogged, Spencer had uh, hit his head and all of that, which he's he's doing much better now. He he doesn't get dizzy or sick um, or anything. Um, so I've just dropped him off at work and ran in, picked up a few things, uh, mainly something for my wrist because I somehow hurt my wrist. Uh, while I was sleeping, and it's hurting pretty bad, like any pressure I put on it, uh, it's pretty sore. So I've got like a wrap that I'm going to put on it, but yeah, I thought I would just try to vlog today. Again, not really much is going on, especially during the mid-winter months. Um, it, it's just kind of a, a lull that we get in every year, and um, we sort of hibernate and just become homebodies and don't really do anything or go anywhere unless we have to. Um, but yeah, and I've got to stop off at the library really quick and pick up something that I had placed on hold so I could check it out. And yeah, but I just thought I'd start the vlog here since I've not vlogged in a while. So yeah, we'll see what today brings. Okay guys, so I'm back home. Um, I got my wrist wrapped in this very expensive wrap. I think it was a couple dollars at Walmart. So far, so good. It's giving the support that it needs. Again, I really don't know what I did to it, but I don't know. Hopefully it gets better in a couple days. Um, I don't think I broke anything. Might have sprained something somehow sleeping. Um, I sleep weird, so it's very possible. Um, but yeah. Um, I wanted to show you some of the progress I made on my um, board um, that I've talked about in previous videos. I also want to point out really quick that this clock over here on the wall isn't correct. It's just there for decorative purposes. Um, it was someone's grandparents or something, I think, but I've, I've had people comment that the time is always either looks the same or it's off from what we say it is or whatever. But yeah, that clock isn't the, the way to go. That clock up there is correct. As you can see, it's a little after 2.30, whereas over here it's like 12.40 maybe. But yeah, so let's go in here, turn this slide on. Um, okay, let's see. We've got some progress on my reading one book a month. Um, this is pretty much for the month of January. Um, I'm currently reading another one um, for February, at least starting. I got five done. Um, I know the numbers are off, but I forgot that that was one that I started. But Girl Online, the 37th Parallel, Girl Online on Tour, The Feast of All Souls, and The Trees Crept In. Those were all fairly good books. Um, this last one was a little 
disturbing and aggravating for me. But, yeah, and then the Feast of All Souls, I really loved it until the end, and it got kind of, I don't know, almost sci-fi-ish, but that's just my opinion. But, yeah, uh, definitely progress there. I will definitely be getting more than 12 books read, but, again, this was just to help me figure out how many books I could read in, like, a year total, and I would go from there. Um, I've not had my February pamper day yet, but that will be coming up. Same with the new recipe, I've not had that yet, but as you can see, I have already, on both of these, begun. Um, our YouTuber subscriber tally, I've not updated for a while, but we're at 86 now. Um, so yay, 14 more to go till 100, hopefully we can do that at some point. Um, I've not picked the new YouTuber to love this month yet, but I will be doing that shortly because I've been sort of looking around in other YouTubers' videos and, and stuff. Um, my wish list has uh, microphones marked off because if you looked in some of our previous videos, John and Ashley got me um, two different microphones for my birthday, so we still have several things there on the list, but this is sort of a big wish list, so I don't expect things to be falling off there quickly. Um, and then, let's see, Better Health have been eating a little bit better, um, and have been, um, you know, doing things like smoothies and relaxing and stuff like that. Working on anxiety issues has been difficult simply because in, like I said earlier, the midwinter months don't really do a lot. Don't really go a lot of places. Um, it's more cozy months. It's cold outside. Don't want to go anywhere. Stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, get more sleep. Been doing that at least another hour each night. Um, which has made me feel a lot better. Except I am kind of, I think, getting over being a little sick. But I usually get sick at least once every winter. So, um, but getting more sleep has even helped with that. Normally it would take a long time for me to get over being sick, but this time it was only a few days. Um, I said eating a little bit better, and we can't do fishing, and I'm still working on that one. Um, so yeah. So definitely some progress, which I'm really, really happy about and proud of, and that I'm you know, sticking to it because, again, it's no big deal. It's just some things I wanted to do, so it's not like New Year's resolutions or total commitments or total uh, I have to do this type thing. I've tried to make it more of a challenge for myself, uh, more entertaining for myself, so yeah, I'm happy with how it's going. Oh, and I also want to <coughs> pardon the mess, you guys, because it's messy here, but look what's happening over here. Our tiles are completely like falling down and it happened one night that a few just started falling and then more fell and more fell so and we've got pardon the mess but we've got them stacked up here because we're not sure what we're going to do with them yet but I do believe Randy and John and Ashley want to redo this whole thing sort of one of those um, like plastic um, protector shell things that just sort of go over it all, taking all these tiles down and cleaning that up. Because whoever did it, they like put it up with something that they shouldn't have used. Like they did it really, really badly. Because I think there's even tiles behind the tiles or something. So, yeah, I don't know. It wasn't good. And it's sort of falling apart, so we need to get that fixed. But, yeah, crazy. Oh. Look guys, he lives. He really is okay. Yeah? Well, he did. Oh, I never you okay. Remember you hit your head. Oh, yeah. I didn't know you were, you were, you were referring to. Well. Yeah. That's, 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 my, speech is, my speech is messed up, so maybe that's because of that. Look guys, I got some curry powder. Some snacky bits. Fruit slices. Puffs. Grandma cookies. Some 
Cadbury milk chocolate. Got some soup. Cheesy potato soup with uncured bacon. Interesting. Someone else wanted that. Yeah, it sounded good. And chicken. some chicken breast tenders because of the recipe I'm going to do for the month of February. Um, I might put the recipe up on our blog so you could have the recipe. Um, and I might show you when I do make it. I don't know yet, but it's a new recipe. It looks really, really good. Sounds really, really good. I don't think I've ever had curry before, but I don't know. We'll see. It All the ingredients sound like good to me, so hopefully I think so, because, yeah. I also got rice, but he might have put the rice up too, so have it with rice. But you cook it in a crock pot, so really low maintenance, and I'm all for that. So, yay! Food choices. I just thought I'd show you really quick, guys, that um, I'm making my recipe for the month. And it's the slow cooker chicken curry. And I've got my chicken in a crock pot already. I've got it turned on low. Um, I may take it up higher later, but for right now I'm starting it out on low. Um, but yeah. For it, you need four to five chicken breasts. I'm using what I had, so these are just some chicken tenders. It should be fine. Um, and it says to use an onion chopped, but again, I'm using some of what I had. So I had green onions, and I went ahead and chopped that up and put that in the bowl. Um, it may equal maybe a cup of onions if you're doing it that way. And then it calls for a jar of salsa, but again, using what we have. It's a big jar, so I'm only going to use about half of this. Um, if you had a smaller jar, it'd probably take the whole jar. And we need two tablespoons of yellow curry powder. I picked this up at Walmart. Uh, I didn't know if they'd have it or not, but they did. So um, I got the cheaper one because I don't need a huge jar of it, um, at least yet. Um, because I've never had this stuff before, so I don't know if I'll like it, but we will see. And later, um, I'm going to need a half a cup of cream cheese, but at the moment, it doesn't go in there until like the last 15 minutes, um, so I'm not worried about that. But I'm going to mix these three ingredients together and pour it over my chicken and let it get started cooking to make the um, slow cooker chicken curry. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you really quick um, what it looks like. It's pretty much done, just still letting it cook for a little bit. Um, but I've got the chicken all shredded and it tastes really good too. I will tell you, I followed the original recipe I had, but I did add, let's see here's, here we go. Here we go. Um, but I did add some other seasonings, like um, I did put some salt and some ground red pepper, about two tablespoons of honey. Um, let's see, I've also just added the cream cheese that it called for. Um, so yeah, and it's really good, but like I said, it was missing something, or it seemed like it was missing something, so we added um, some other stuff. Oh, I also put a little bit of ground cinnamon in it too but yeah so it looks really good it smells delicious and here in a little bit I will make the rice and we will have a wonderful new supper so I can go ahead and add this to my board as having tried a new recipe and like I said I've never had curry before and I've tasted it while I was cooking to see how you know if it needed this or that and it's really quite good it's not quite the taste I thought it would be so yeah so don't be afraid of curry I guess or curry powder um, so yeah I don't know but looks good I think it's gonna be really good and I'm going to enjoy it and I look forward to the next one next month because we'll go for something else that I've not tried before so, yeah. so what's your opinion on the new meal of the month so good I think it needs cheese She's there by see it. Yum. Yum. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm, you're almost done. Mm -hmm. They're good. Guess what, YouTube? He didn't have to add any salt or anything. They don't know anything about that. He adds salt to everything. Or yes, he does. Salt, and like garlic, salt, and pepper, and etc. And he oh. didn't have to add anything this time. Garlic. I like spices. That's not a bad right. thing. <clears throat> Although I really like spices. I will tell you guys, as I suggested earlier, to add a little bit of red pepper, a little bit of whatever. I didn't add very much red pepper at all, and woo, it got a little bit spicy, but it's still good. So I'm just saying, be careful adding the crushed or ground red pepper if you want it spicy. I would say stick with just like regular pepper. Yeah, that might be okay. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad or anything, it's just, it, there's heat. <laughs> a little bit. One of those nasal draining heat moments, but yeah. Yep. But I just wanted to show you guys what what it looked like at the end because I told you about it so I'm going to end this vlog here and um, we will see you in the next one please like this subscribe and uh, click the ding along bell so you can ding right along with us exactly <laughs> bye y'all bye bye